definitely told me to pack proper shoes, so I was just like, hey, I'm going to wear my new shoes that go with all of my clothes, and um, they're really nice. And then I get there, and then she's like, we're at the zoo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about um, some new things that I bought recently. I am um, sort of doing this video a little bit last minute. Um, it is pretty much the end of summer now. I mean, officially it's not the end of summer until September 22nd, I think it is. But I um, have gotten a lot of pieces recently of like accessories and clothes that I thought would be something really great to show you guys. Some of the things um, I got have been because there's been a lot of summer things that have gone on sale and so I thought that um, even if they might not be in stock anymore, I'm not sure, but um, I would, thought I would show, go ahead and show you guys them um, to at least give you some inspiration for um, outfits to finish out the summer weeks, I guess, not months, the summer weeks or for um, next summer and if you get some of these pieces then you could always use them and have like a set wardrobe for next spring summer like have some new things that um, you can use right away as soon as it gets warm enough again unless you live in a place that it's warm all the time and then you don't have to worry about that and you're lucky in that respect I unfortunately live in a cold place that is cold and rainy most of the year um, except for the short time it is hopefully warm and you possibly not rainy in the summertime so let's just get started so this is the first look and it's just a really um, cute summery and springy look like it's just this really pretty um, fairy green is what I've been told it looks like and I have to agree I mean some people have called it mint but I think it's much more like a fairy kind of green, not too neon, but not too pastel and light, and I think it's just really pretty. And it's super, super comfortable. Um, I actually got it at ASOS, which is, um, if you don't know, is a really great brand. So this is just a really comfortable dress. Um, it's like, actually, it's uh, like a really soft denim, which I didn't think I would like, but I just love this dress. It's literally my favorite dress, and I'm so sad that I only got it toward the end of the summer, because otherwise I would have worn this all summer. Um, there was also a pink option of this, which if you like that color better, um, it was also really nice. I just decided to keep one. Um, it has pockets, which I love, and they're really deep pockets. You could actually put, I think, um, like your keys here and feel comfortable they're not going to come out. And it has an elasticated waist, which um, I really like, and it makes it more comfortable. Um, the straps do have a tendency to fall off a little bit, but that could just be that I just have really small shoulders, and that's part of the reason. I'm a very short person, so that kind of contributes to it, but um, in general, I think it's just an amazing dress. I also have a few accessories to show you. So these I'll probably pair with um, several outfits, um, at least the bag. But I have this bag from Indigo Africa, or maybe it's pronounced Indigo Africa, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's an amazing brand that has ethically and sustainably sourced bags. Um, they're quite, um, they're not as inexpensive as maybe other brands would be, but um, they do a lot to help um, people in Africa and women especially with their education and um, employment and um, and it's just an amazing brand, basically a charity, honestly, it's just great and I love the bag, the bag is so amazing, it's really good quality and <laughs> I've got the shoes in my hand, but so I'll just put those down for a second, um, but it's just super nice, it has this, this bag I thought was adorable and I actually got this on sale, um, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, and then um, when I saw it was um, but I never traded the brand before, so at full price, I was like, I don't know, it's an amazing cause though, so. <laughs> but then I saw this bag, which was my favorite, and it was on sale, and so yeah, this here we are. Um, but I really love the color. I love uh, pink, but I, as I may mentioned before, I don't love pink as a whole, like, outfit, or like, usually as even clothing, but I do like it as accents or as accessories. Um, or parts of accessories, preferably, instead of the whole bag being pink. Um, so it's really nice. It's this really nice straw bag with um, 
a pink seashell. I don't know if you can see it from over there. Um, it's pretty spacious on the inside. Um, and it's just really nice. It's really sturdy. It's really cute. I don't know what else to say. Oh, also, the um, pink seashell is actually also dyed from natural materials. So everything in all of their brand is natural, which is also amazing. And so basically, it's just the best brand. <laughs> and it's that they have some of the cutest stuff. Like, they have stuff for everyone. Not just in, like, pink, but also in lots of other colors. Um, so I'll leave, um, I forgot to mention everything linked down below so you can um, purchase it if you want. I don't know if this is still in stock because I got it quite a while ago. I meant to, like, have it in my haul week video, but um, one of my haul week videos got deleted somehow and I couldn't find the videos and this was one of the items in it. It was like Hollister and um, miscellaneous brands that I had gotten and this was one of it so I definitely wanted to mention it in this video. And the next um, item I'm going to talk about are these amazing shoes from Forever 21. So I usually don't shop at Forever 21 because they're closed a lot of the time in my experience at least. I haven't shopped there in a while so it could be different um, now than it used to be their cuts don't fit, like, the clothes aren't cut correctly, so they don't fit quite right, like, materials aren't very long-lasting, obviously they're not very expensive. There are many other brands that have inexpensive clothes and great, uh, like, a much better quality, I think. But one part that I do love about Forever 21, and I do think it's worth their, worth their money, is, um, or worth your money, <laughs> actually, is their accessories and their shoes. They have amazing accessories that actually really last and are really great. Um, and they're so inexpensive and so you can get lots of different kinds and colors to match every kind of outfit you have. And their um, shoes are the same, like they're really inexpensive and you can get them uh, really good deals um, when they're on sale. And they are um, quite nice quality for the price. So these um, shoes I got recently are Forever 21. They're just white and brown on the top. Um, and then just, wow, they are dirty. <laughs> I wore these to the zoo the other day. And that, the reason I wore these to the zoo the other day is kind of an interesting story. So maybe I'll tell that later um, in the, when I try on another outfit with these shoes. Um, they're a little bit torn up, but again, that goes back to the zoo thing. I've only worn them a few times, but for, they will cost me about $5, I think, on sale. Um, so for that price, they are definitely, um, it's definitely okay, but I, in my opinion, if they have a little bit of wear and tear, but mostly it's my fault for wearing them to the zoo. <laughs> the next outfit is this incredible dress from Amazon, actually, which was really surprising to me because I've never shopped there before, but um, it's actually from their collection that's called The Drop, where they like work with different influencers, I guess. And like they only drop for a certain amount of time and then they're gone and you can't get them again. You may be able to, I don't know if they bring it back or not. Um, I'll look into that and find out if this dress is still like there somewhere. But um, honestly, I'm so impressed with the drop and um, their clothes. This is um, just the most beautiful, I'll have to get on something actually so you can see the full length. But it goes down all the way to like, it's a mini dress. Well, it's intended to be a mini dress. I actually had to take mine up a little bit because it was more towards my ankles, but it looked great that way too. I just kind of decided I wanted it to look exactly how I had had, like, looked in the picture. Um, but if you're any taller than me, it would work really well. Um, it was just that with my height, I guess they didn't take into account even in the extra, extra small <laughs> that somebody might not be 5'5". <laughs> Anyhow, um, the sleeves I had to take up a little bit too because they were a little too long. They weren't on like bearable, it's just they were kind of, if I wanted to like wear this to school or if I was doing a lot of riding, it wouldn't have worked out very well. But I love these sleeves, like I just saw this and I was just like, oh my gosh. Those are the most interesting sleeves I've ever seen. It's like in the most beautiful co poplin cotton, which I love poplin cotton. It's just such a nice material and it's comfortable. Um, and it feels like really, it's really durable, and it's just so nice. I love this dress. I mean, it's not normally what I would go for, because some people might think this looks a little bit too, like, I guess, renaissance, or um, maybe princessy. 
but I think if you accessorize this right, it can look really casual and just like a really beautiful summer dress. Gosh, I love this color. It's almost like um, a periwinkle blue. And they also had a green and a pink um, in this dress, which I also thought was really pretty. Um, let me go see if I can't find something to stand on so you can actually see the length of this dress. I found a chair from the kitchen. <laughs> well, I'll just get up on that so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the length of the dress. Um, just a really pretty length and a really great material. And I just really, really love this dress. I like, seriously, I freaked out when I saw this dress on me. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the closest I can be to looking like a princess without feeling like a child <laughs> in like a princess dress or something. I really need to buy a stool, by the way, <laughs> because this is going to get tiring to bring in a chair. Okay, and I thought I would just go ahead and show you this dress with this bag again. I'm just going to be bringing this back probably almost every outfit, but I just think it makes it look so cute and like kind of like countryside. Just going down on the beach in this blue dress and this um, beautiful seashell straw bag. And um, I also paired it with this necklace from Forever 21, which was like six six dollars i believe not on sale or anything and it's just this amazing chunky heart necklace and it just pairs amazing with this dress so this is the next look i paired this hollister bodysuit with this um rue 21 skirt it's actually from rue 21 which i was so surprised when i saw their saw it in their store because i usually never find anything there it's actually really nice, but this is actually really like nice. It's lined. Um, it's a really like good basic skirt for summertime, and it pairs well with these accessories. Um, honestly, like all these things that I found in the last, I don't know, I would say month or so. I think I got this top um, on sale for about seven dollars and then i had or six dollars and i had a five dollar thing at hollister so i actually got this for a dollar and this was on sale for like seven um dollars which was really inexpensive so this whole outfit is like eight dollars um minus the accessories this is more countryside than the last outfit the last outfit was more maybe beach or if you don't have a bag like city but this one is definitely like countryside. I really like the all white kind of look. So back to the shoes, um, which also would go really well with this outfit. I thought I would just real quickly tell you why they are a little bit messed up. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me just bring it closer at the toe. So I am a bit of a klutz, um, first of all. So I do have a tendency to like trip over my own shoes which is part of the reason. The other reason is I wore these to the zoo. And the reason I wore these to the zoo is I did not know I was going to the zoo. I got all dressed up and it was the day before my birthday and my sister was like, hey, I have a surprise for you. Well, she, we had to pick her up at Anderson. I knew she had something, but I didn't know I was going somewhere. Nobody told me to pack proper shoes. So I was just like, hey, I'm gonna wear my new shoes. I go with all of my clothes and um, they're really nice. And then I get there, and then she's like, we're at the zoo. And I was like, I am not wearing the right shoes for this. <laughs> and so I was like, walking the whole day. We were there the whole day, but you know what I mean. In these shoes, and by the end of it, I was like, I can't walk anymore. Why did you not tell me to bring other shoes? And that is why they are a little bit tarnished. Um, not really tarnished, they're a little bit dirty. Um, and they probably need to be cleaned and the ends got a little messed up because you know the cement at the zoo and all different places that i went there and i tripped a lot because i'm klutzy and clumsy and i do that all the time so that is why i have a little bit of a messed up shoe but you can't tell from the distance so it's still fine this skirt is the next new item that i got in my end of summer kind of shopping spree so here's one of the next new items that I've gotten recently and what I bought. Um, this skirt is just a really pretty satin skirt. It's kind of great for, it's mostly great I think for fall when you want to wear a skirt, but you still kind of want to look like you're wearing something warm enough to wear in the, I don't know if it's warm enough, but definitely more fall-esque, I guess. Um, so I think satin skirts are great for that. Um, you can wear this in the summer, it's really light and comfortable and um, it just, 
don't know. It's just really, really pretty. And it goes with a lot, um, I think. You can wear it with like a sweater in the fall or the winter or like a cami like I am for the summer. Actually, I do think it, I think it also goes with this bag, surprisingly. I didn't think with like the more fall kind of colors it would go with this bag, but I think it really does. Everything I knew just goes, everything I got just goes well together. This sweater is one of the last things that I've bought recently. It's just really comfortable. It's from Hollister and it has like already a tie at the bottom, which is really unusual and I haven't really seen in sweaters before, which I like because I feel like it doesn't make me look so, like the, out, the cardigan's so baggy on me. Um, you could just wear it like, you know, off the shoulder like I was or just up or you could button it up a little bit. Um, basically do whatever and it just looked really good for fall and so I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, I think it just really adds a lot to my wardrobe. I needed some cardigans so I'm glad that I found one that I really like. It probably doesn't go with this outfit because um, it's a different shade of brown that doesn't really correlate with this but I'll go ahead and show these to you anyhow. So this is the next thing that I've bought recently. Um, as far as accessories go, it's one of the few, the two shoes that I've bought recently. And this is also from Forever 21, also at a really great price, like $6. And these are actually even more solid than the one, the white ones. So I think they'll last um, even longer. And they're supposed to be like a faux leather, and they definitely do feel like that. Um, maybe not like the most high quality, but they definitely look, um, I think, a lot more expensive than they are, which is nice. So I thought I would just show you these real quick. Um, they're just one of my favorite purchases recently. Um, honestly, I don't love the um, like square toe as much. I have like in other shoes that well one other shoe that I have that has square toe that I got for the um, drugstore. No, for a, a video I think it's coming up soon. But these are definitely a lot more like locked. So they are one of my favorite purchases because they're really nice and they'll be good shoes and they'll go with a lot. And I think I can wear these without. I don't think other people think they're too big. I just thought maybe they were a little bit of a too big like square toe for my foot. But that's just my like perception. I'm not sure that's actually how it looks. So here's the last newest thing that I bought. It's a dress from Fashion Nova, which is a brand I've never really shopped at before, except for this item that I bought and then another thing that I bought, which is unfortunately in the wash right now, otherwise I would show it to you guys. But um, I'll leave it linked down below. It's just this like two-piece um, outfit with a ruffle top and the skirt um, like it's kind of it's in an ivory kind of color honestly in person it looks more like a sand almost um, color but it's really cute and um, the thing I love about matching sets is you can mix and match it with other things but anyhow <laughs> before I get too much on that tangent um, I just paired it with the new bag that I got which I think also looks really cute and the necklace and then right now you can't see it I know but I'm wearing the square toed shoes because I wanted to see and I'm actually just loving it with this dress um I'll just go ahead and take off one of the shoes so you can see it's these shoes like you saw before but so you can see the color and how it goes with this white dress and I think it just goes really well um, with the bag and the dress and the necklace, which is rose gold. Overall, I think this is just an amazing, another amazing purchase and um, it's definitely worth your money. It's lined, which is really nice and makes it much more comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I wear a dress and it has a lining underneath it, it's just so much more comfortable and I feel kind of like it's really swooshy I guess because it just like flounces really nicely when it has the lining underneath it. there. See what I mean? Clumsy. Um, these shoes, this is the bottom of the dress. The length is just a really perfect length. I didn't have to do anything to this. It has these beautiful puff sleeves that aren't too puffy and it goes great with these shoes and this bag and this necklace and the whole thing just looks so nice and so cute and I just love it so much. So this is probably one of my favorite looks honestly and it just has the most beautiful details and it's really comfortable and it doesn't show the buttons which I don't know about anyone else but I have this weird thing where I can't show, I don't like buttons on my clothes generally, um, I don't know why, I mean obviously that cardigan had buttons but you can't really get around that. 
but in my dresses I really don't so I love that it has that and it's just cute comfortable and overall I just love it like it's so hard to find things that fit me so well and this just checks every box mm -hmm. and does everything has everything about it that I love and it's just great for summer and it has like vertical stripes instead of horizontal stripes and that's really important to me <laughs> all right guys that's it for my what's new in my wardrobe video I hope you liked it be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave any comments down in the comment section below if you have any like questions or ideas for videos or anything else. I'm sorry if the lighting has been a little off today, but um, it is dreary outside. It's raining like crazy and it's been thundering. I took the moment of time that, or the more than a moment of time to record this that it wasn't thundering anymore. So hopefully the lighting has been good. But um, that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next week.